Later on, I took care of a sister who had cancer. And uh, as I took care of her, as she was known to be a little gruff in life, and I suppose somebody with cancer could be that way. <laughs> but uh, I was asked to take her in her wheelchair to benediction and we were upstairs, so all of that happened. But while I was putting her put, putting her stockings on, she said, there's something wet down there. And I felt all around and I said, no sister, I don't feel anything. So I continued and she said, there's something wet. What What is wet down there? And I said, sister, there's just a towel and then your, your personal clothes. And uh, she said, well, let's go. And uh, so I continued. And this time she said, there's something wet. And with that, she that she hit my hand. And because of that, uh, she said, your hand is wet. You're afraid of me, aren't you? And I said, uh, yes. And she said, people said all kinds of things. The sisters even said all kinds of things about you to, uh, to me, it said to you, many things and I said well yes and she said you know the pitiful thing is they're all true and I've tried to change that and I've never succeeded and uh, so uh, because of that we became extremely good friends and each evening she'd ask me what you know what what went on in at recreation and then this one evening was near Christmas she said I told her that the sisters were talking about Christmas and she said, oh, Christmas. He said, you know, I had a class for the children and uh, a classroom of fourth grade children. And I wanted that classroom to be Christmas because we had children in that room that uh, they were, were homeless almost, very poor, and they needed to know what Christmas was all about. And so I fixed that. And um, then at recreation the next night, one said, well, what, what did you all talk about? And I, so I told this, uh, the, the sister told me that this, yeah, Sister Mary Everett had the nicest room in town. She had the worker for three days to make it that nice. And uh, she said, nobody else could ever get that worker, but she could. And so there was a kind of a little jealousy in there. And I thought, well, you dear nuns, you're just like us. <laughs> and, uh, um, but anyway, it ended that uh, she told me why. She said, oh, she said, even the superior gave me the worker for three days to make it so beautiful for every child because they needed to have that for Christmas. And that's important in my life because we too were real poor and um, but we loved Christmas and everything went right. And I thought, well, this is just like it was when I was home. 